And now I would like to invite on the stage Amal Rar. She's the class president of class 2019. It is my great honor to welcome you today to our graduation ceremony. I especially welcome anyone who traveled a long way to celebrate with us today. Parents, families, and friends, this is as much your day as it is our day. None of us would be standing here, all dressed up in our fancy caps and gowns, if it wasn't for you, for your support, and the sacrifices you make every day so we can fulfill our dreams. Thank you for never giving up on us. On behalf of my classmates, I would like to take a moment to thank a few people without whom this experience would not have been the same. Professor Dimitri Bertsimas, thank you for your great guidance this past year. You have been an amazing teacher and mentor to all of us. You challenged us to be the best in our field, and it was an honor to be your students. <laughs> Michelle, Jada, Zach, Tracy, and Karine, thank you for making this program what it is and making sure that we only focus on showing our best potential. Before we close this chapter of our lives and go on with our own journeys, I would like to take this opportunity that my classmates gave me to talk about a topic dear to my heart. Today, I want to talk about diversity in its broader sense. Not only skin color or ethnicity, but gender, age, sexual orientation, religion, disability, or social background. We live in a world where you can see fear in some people's eyes when we talk about diversity. Fear of those who are different. Fear of those they don't understand. Fear of those who disagree with them. They view diversity as an invasion and something they need to build walls to protect themselves against. They seem to believe that an ideal country should be composed only of people who are similar. They react to diversity with intolerance, anger, and even death, instead of welcoming its beauty. Let's all remember what happened a few weeks ago in El Paso, Texas, where a man drove nine hours with the sole purpose of shooting a Hispanic community. How he entered this store, took a look around to make sure who he was shooting, went back to his car, picked up his gun, and committed massive shooting. Or what happened in Christchurch, New Zealand in March, where a man attacked two mosques after sharing a manifesto about white genocide conspiracy theories and live streamed it on social media. Unlike these terrible criminals, I believe that the beauty of this world lies within its diversity. It is our differences that brings us all together. It is what makes us stronger. Look at my classmates, for example. They're all so different from one another. They all have different backgrounds, whether academic or cultural. And for me, that's what makes the beauty of this class. My capstone partner, Mason, is Native American from South Dakota. And my three spring break buddies come from three different countries in Europe. Does it get any more beautiful than that? It means that somewhere along the way, we learn to respect each other and to understand the value of each individual here at MIT. In this wonderful institution, you're never treated with anything but respect. And your differences are even celebrated. 
This new home that I found here reminds me of my own home, Morocco. It has been a home for so many different people that today, Morocco is a graceful mix of colors, ethnicities, religions, and traditions. And it would make it impossible for me to describe what a Moroccan looks like. It's a place where diversity and inclusion are so deeply rooted into people that they don't even realize how different they can be from one another. Unfortunately, this inclusion is not a given. We need to fight for it every single day. And I think there are at least two things that we can do to fight for this inclusion. First, we need to show the world that we treasure our identities. We need to be proud of our personal identity and not hide it. We can show the world what it means to be different. We can show that we are Asian, African, Hispanic, native, or white. We don't need to hide that we are Muslim, Christian, Jewish, or that we don't have any religion. We can show what it means to be a woman or to be gay. Let's show them what diversity is. Let's find this unity in diversity and stand together to prove wrong those who doubted how powerful diversity can be. But we also need to start being an ally for other people. Because unfortunately, privilege blinds. It blinds the people who benefit from it. And today, we all become privileged. With our amazing MIT degree, we will have a voice in tomorrow's decisions. This voice that is given to us comes with responsibility. The responsibility to advocate for those who can't to speak up for people that nobody listens to. Let's do the right thing, even when it's hard and inconvenient. Let's all stand up for what we think is right. Let's support the other. And today, I stand here in front of you as the other. I am a Moroccan, a woman, and I'm the other. We have a saying in Morocco that translates to, do good and good will find you. If there's one thing I want you to remember from my speech today is this saying, do good and good will find you. Honestly, there is no better way for me to celebrate diversity than to be here with all of you. This past year, it has been an honor to be part of such an amazing group of brilliant, talented, and ambitious people. I will never be grateful enough to MIT for putting you, incredible human beings, on my path. Each and every one of you has taught me so much, but mostly you've inspired me to be a better person. You are everything but ordinary, and I'm convinced that you will all achieve greatness in the future, whether you know it or not. I am very proud to see how much we've all grown these past 12 months. It was not always easy, and with the all-nighters spent on problem sets, we all learned the hard way, probably around December, that indeed, perfection is outside the human condition. <laughs> My fellow graduates, behind us, all our memories. Before us, all of our dreams. Around us, all who love us, and within us, all what we need. It was a great pleasure to know every one of you. Congratulations, everyone.